Um, I'd like to acknowledge JL on the other side because in choir today we were dancing during one song. We were having a lot of fun. Um, I'd like to acknowledge Andrew because we had a fun time bowling this weekend. One of the things that I sometimes hear people talk about is how grace and courtesy is a very specific part of the preschool or elementary program. But grace and courtesy is also incredibly important as we work with the adolescent. One of the things Montessori talks about is how adolescents have a tendency toward being self-absorbed, a tendency toward perhaps not being as positive. As, as they will be along the way. And grace and courtesy is a big uh, part of how we help young people see outside themselves a little bit and remember uh, kindness and the way we sp in which we use language uh, is very powerful. So both grace and courtesy is um, and learning about service and servant leadership are really important for the adolescent. They're intertwined. In high school we have 50 hours of community service we have to do each year. So to do that we have to go find a service organization and we have to get out there and it becomes a good thing even though it is a requirement people will actually I think enjoy doing it. So by the end of our high school career we have 200 hours of community service that we've done which is good because we're getting out there, we're experiencing what it's like to, to help others, which is always a good thing. I've helped out with a lot of school events, getting them set up, and also I'm in a musical therapy class, which helps the mentally challenged. When they go to music, I'm kind of there, and if they need help with something, they, you know, they can rely on us to help them. I mean, it's really empowering. You can see these kids excel when you're helping them, and you can see, like, in the beginning of the year, somebody might be shy or they might not be doing much. And by the end of the year, you know, they'll be doing things you would have never thought. And it, it really makes you feel good. I worked for the SCPA, or SPCA, uh, Civic Garden Center, and recently I've been doing community service at 10,000 Villages, which is free trade um, that gives all the profits that we make off the artisans' work goes right back to them. I do community service at a nursing home around the corner from my old house and also at Hip Hop Youth Art Center, um, which we got started up here in the city. And, that's, and then I do little stuff um, like I'll go to the drop-in center downtown or um, a rec center next to my house to the Boys and Girls Club Greater right Cincinnati. And I go work with those kids sometime. I helped uh, feed um, the less fortunate. I also just sat there and worked with them. I provided um, hygiene bags for them if they needed to take with them. You know, and they, it wasn't just like, oh, here's just another girl trying to work to feel good about herself for community service. They knew me by name. And um, I still go down there now, and I help cook and other things, so that's where I go.